Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show where we talk about hot topics in the sport of professional fishing. And Panger, this one is one that I kind of went public with on Bass Live, kind of went public with on my podcast, but I thought it for a long time. Bass fishing needs an extreme weather zone. So we don't cancel days. We have an area. Maybe it's a four mile stretch, whatever that size of that area is. One area where we can contain the field during extreme weather. I mean, it's too big a sport for us to keep trying to push a tournament back to Monday and Tuesday and things like that. And safety is always most important. So I'm all in with safe weather zones. What say you, Panger? I understand the theory behind this, Dave. Uh, just because you can't get down to the dam without going through seven footers doesn't mean you can't stay within five miles, still catch fish. If everybody knows that that's where the zone is and they can choose to spend however much practice time they want there. Now, are you talking full field or are we talking once we make cuts and get down to the final days? No, this is final day. This is your championship day, whatever day it may fall on. And it increasingly, it seems like th this past Santee event, everybody was like, Sunday's not going to happen. Sunday's not going to happen. So all week you have your leaders wondering what's going to happen. Is it going to go into Monday? Is it going to be... But if you have one area that they can all go to that they knew before pre-fish that this is an area that we may use and, and we may not use it for 10 years, but when it comes into play, you just want to eliminate all of the gray. In my opinion, there's a lot of gray in rules and, and anglers all week wondering, are we going, are we not going? If you know that if this weather is too extreme to send everybody out, we're going to send you out in this restricted area for several reasons. Number one, the event goes on. Number two, you're safe, which should be number one, really. The safety is number one. And that's why you need them all in one zone because, you know, a lot of people bring up things like, well, couldn't they trailer to their spots and stuff? Then you still have 10 anglers through a playing field that's 50 miles apart and, and the weather can be totally different. If they're all in one zone, they're safe. And to me as a fan, how exciting does that tournament become all of a sudden? Now you're going to see the anglers crack the code right in front of you in an area that they probably have not fished or pre-fished. The main tournament that comes to mind, I believe, would have been, what, 2013 on Falcon Lake, the one that Keith Combs almost had a yeah. lead he did. Was he right around the century belt there? But Rick Clun had a pretty commanding lead in that event, throwing a square bill close to the ramp. His area was completely calm and protected. Combs was fishing down by the dam, couldn't get to his fish, but the entire day was canceled. Would have been a massive change had you had one of these safe zones for all of the anglers to go in. And I think you maybe had a, a different winner, the outcome of that, and Clun gets a W. So that's the first one that comes to mind where that would have would have definitely made an, an impact. Am I right along those lines, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Well, look at Greg Hackney, who was stuck on the shore for three days in a row. When we were, where were we? We were in Escanaba? Or, yes, Escanaba. Uh, stuck in his hotel three days in a row because we couldn't go. If we had an extreme weather zone there, then it happens. It all happens on time. Nobody's, it, nobody is at an advantage or disadvantage in that situation. And it goes on. I mean, you just don't have to put up with three days of not going on the water. You know, you imagine how much money is spent by the anglers, by mm -hmm. bass, by everybody involved, the community. I mean, these events want to go on. The community wants them to go on. The anglers want them to go on because quite often anglers are like, I can't stay here till Tuesday. I have a tight schedule. I got to go to a different event. I just think baseball's got, when we get to a certain amount of innings, it's a full game. Right. We want to see them fish. Yeah, don't start comparisons because that's where I'm coming in as opposed to this. Oh, okay. Golf. Bring it. You don't, you don't see, you don't see a PGA tour event. You don't see the masters, the U S open, the British open going, Hey, you know, the greens are, are flooded, but guess what? We can go to the par three course and finish this thing out. Just so we make sure it gets done on the weekend. Boy, won't that be exciting? Everyone's going to be hitting on the par three and it's going to be tight. It is the top level. It is the biggest. You have created your game plan for the entire week based on that playing field. And now you're, you're pigeonholed into uh, for better chance, a luck, a small area that might not suit your game plan. I understand that you can make it part of your game plan, but the same reason why you said it's the top level is the same reason why it, why it shouldn't. In NASCAR, they don't send them to the dirt track race. 
when the when the it gets it, when it gets rained out, they have the delay. Mm-hmm. They come back the next day. They do it on the full playing field. This is the top level. These guys have gotten to that position to the third or final day based on the ability to fish the entire system. And if it takes a Monday or a Tuesday, as significant as a Bassmaster Elite Series or a BPT win could be to an angler's career, I think you should have that full safe playing field at their advantage and not turn it into. A, a, a pond derby for the final day that is not a true reflection of how those anglers got there. I understand where you're coming from. I understand it, but because it is the top level, but because it, it is inconvenient doesn't mean that the winner should be determined because we want to make sure this sucker gets done on a Sunday and not on a Monday. Okay. Uh, I think your point is good. And I love how people love to compare golf and fishing and NASCAR and fishing. They're nothing the same. Because here's the biggest difference. When the Masters has to go on Monday, ABC or whoever is viewing them says, I don't care what we have on at this time. We're airing the Masters. Fishing isn't in that world. Fishing has a very set time slot. So it just doesn't. And just just to be clear, it can never end on a Tuesday because the current rules, the new rule that came out in the Elite Series is it gets one extra day of competition can be added on the back end. So it has to end on Monday. So for example, the Santee event that luckily they got out and it was fine. I mean, the weather was fine, Mm -hmm. but if it hadn't been as bad as everybody would have said, Luke Palmer wouldn't have gone fishing that day. None of the top 10 would have gone fishing that day. Monday was actually worse wind wise than it was. So you wouldn't have gone Monday and the event would have ended with, Luke being your day three leader and day four is canceled. And there's your champion. So, it's I'm fine with that. You two. mentioned that baseball is the one that calls it after seven innings. Sometimes. So you're fine with if you're in second place and you've got a four day tournament and now you only get three days of competition. You'd rather ride that type of luck than take your odds at fishing against. If nine I'm in other first dudes. place, yes. If I'm second through ninth place, give me the pond derby, the canal derby, the safe place derby. As a as a as a fan, as someone watching it, yeah, it would be exciting to see that happening but i think as an angler man i don't want my future put in the hands of someone demon whether it's okay to go out and we can go into the freaking it's three the same mile call. section of lake. it's the same call you're only going to use this area on a day that they told you you couldn't go it's, it's listen i don't hate like the we idea have a, we have an extra zone so hey let's use it it's the exact same call the tournament director wakes up that but what morning. if there isn't a zone on that lake what if it is like a there, lake? There is a zone every on every lake. There you is think a zone. So? Everywhere even you can find a zone. I mean, how even, big is the zone? How big is it? I mean, the, well, what, that's who, up who for determines debate. how big it's going to be? What I don't know. How big do you think it should be? What if you're on a Great Lakes and the safe zone is a largemouth area on on Lake St. Clair and everyone's catching smallmouth? Now it turns Why not into go to a, the Detroit River? Now it turns into a grass flipping deal. For largemouth and a frogging deal, when you've got guys who got you're there going catching to the 28 pounds hanger. of smallmouth, no, that's you're- likely going to happen because the most likely you're going to have weather delays are on big water. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't hate the idea. I understand it. <laughs> it's just, it just seems like a cheap way to get it in and keep the sponsors and the, and the people happy. It's not. It's a way the to host keep people safe. To keep people safe, to keep them in his zone, because when you are spread out throughout a body of water, you get different weather in different areas. You can keep everybody contained, keep everybody safe. It becomes enjoyable for the viewer to watch. Dude, it is. It is. No, I agree. It would be fun to watch that, to tune in and know, holy cow, we got all these guys in one little friggin' area. But they tried that and they did away with it. Remember the whole course? No, I think the whole course needs to come back. I mean, maybe really? not on the safe zone days, but I'm all about the dude. How awesome would the whole course be with today's call? technology? Is that our next call? Bring back yeah, whole courses? I, I'm all all in. Mega bucks. Okay. Come on home. It's time Look, to do it again. Listen, ten I'll anglers, ten up. cameras. I get it. I understand it. I'm going to casually call this. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't so feel not strongly about this. I'm casually calling it, Dave. That's I I like some of the points that you brought up. You can't casually call. It's, it's not, you're not did. allowed to casually. You can't. Just it's did. like being, it's like being casually pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant and you cannot casually call. It's a keep our call is the name of the show, right? 
Yes. Well, we've done like 45 of these and you've never said that I have to be 100% in on it. I'm casually calling this one. I, I would like to watch it as an angler. If I find myself in that position, I, if there, I could see instances where I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, let's let's go fish the safe zone. I could also I, see instances of this safe zone is dumb. I can't wait to see you when you're in second place and they cancel the final day. I can't wait to see how your opinion changes. Listen, in that situation. If, if it's in the open EQs, I will gladly take the points. Unless it's a bad decision to cancel the final day, then I'll raise hell. We got to get there what, first, Dave. <laughs> yes, yes. Let <laughs> us know what you think. Keep our call. Extreme weather safety zones. It's a cart ahead of the horse, right? That's the saying. You're putting yeah. the cart ahead of the horse. Because yeah. in order to have an extreme safety zone, you have to be in position to win yeah. before the yeah. safety zone comes into play. The cart can't pull the horse. But like, where would you put them? I'm looking at the like. Okay, on the same like, where would you put? Where would you put guys? On the like same arena? Simple. No, no. I mean, I'm talking miles. I'm talking like a four mile, a five mile stretch. Would it have to be adjacent? Would they have to take off from the place, or would it be like, hey, we're it all going to go on to the this location, ramp and then we're going to stay in Shamo Bay today? It depends on the location. It really, but it you would know that the before the tournament. Yeah, you'd know. You'd get a little yeah. sheet of paper that said, "This is it." It may be a different body of water, dude. Like it may be an adjacent body a of water. Different lake. So, like, the, let's say the, Grand is too it, rough. They send them to Uchi. Sure. Yeah. No, oh, that's too much. I'm casually calling it. Still, I, I get it. So. It'd be fun to watch, but it's not. I think it'd that's be just a massive pain in the butt to try to understand that as, especially as an angler then, because then you're looking ahead and what if it's like 60% it's near chance of severe weather. The things we've had to understand over the last number of years. Come on. We're, exactly. we, we're just going. Okay. Casually Let us know what you it. think. Casual color. I'm keeping all in. I want to keep the angler safe. If you want to keep the anglers safe, you should be all in too. Sorry. I'm trying to skew them. Panger. Let us know what you think. Keep her calm.